Hi, now we'll see how do we create a member using DSO option. Okay, uh, go to 3.4 and uh, go to the library, the PDS member. I'm using edit option, and then here, suppose this is okay. So, I wanted to create a new member with the same piece of code or the steps so I have this one the step IABR14 which creates a new data set right just I wanted to use the same JCL but with a new member okay how do I create normally what you'll be doing uh, the first option what we have is uh, copy CC CC and then cut so that it will cut all the 14 lines then go back and you can type S member 1 or 2 actually actually like a new member new member and then you will be pasting it and then you will save this right so this is one way of doing it and uh, the other way of doing is uh, you can type create okay and type dot zf and dot zl okay and then enter so that means uh, it will be the current data set is this one and where do you want to copy I wanted to copy into the same JCL library that is the same PDS and the number I wanted to give is member or new member 2 ok and I delete this ok and then enter and it will be saying test JCL lib okay specify data set is okay just go back here oh, sorry uh, create dot zf dot zl okay and you can give jcl i was made a mistake i didn't write the jcl there so new mem per 2 okay just delete this see you can observe here this is the current uh, current data set that you have and you wanted to create the new member with the same piece of code whatever it has in this create ps then enter <coughs> you can see the member new memb2 has been successfully created just go back and do refresh and you can see new member2 has been created and when you open this and do columns and you can see the same uh, code that we had seen in create ps that will be the same okay